Good morning everyone, I hope you're all keeping safe and well. So today we thought we would all film a daily routine video. Um, our life has changed, or everyone's life has obviously changed a lot in the last few weeks. We have now been in self-isolation for over three weeks and we've kind of got in a bit more of a routine. Obviously it's not perfect every day, but we wanted to kind of... These sunglasses. We wanted to kind of show you how we kind of try to stick to this routine as much as possible because I find that on the days we don't we're not very organized and it makes life a lot more difficult. I actually filmed a school morning hacks video not too long ago but then everything went into lockdown and it was just not the right time to post it so I really hope that one day soon I can actually upload that video for you as well because I'm sure it will still be relevant and helpful um, but this is a situation we'll find ourselves in so I thought it might be nice to show you what we get up to each day because I love seeing what other people are doing and how they're kind of handling the situation so yeah I hope you enjoy the video let's get into it our day normally begins around 7 30 we put the alarm on for 7 7 30 or when the boys wake us up whichever comes first um, and we all slowly get up things are a bit slower these days Ricky had already got up to get dressed open the blinds etc and I was just getting out of bed we're also trying to encourage Archie and Elliot, but more Archie because he's five and a half, um, to make his bed in the mornings. We just think it's kind of like a good thing for him to get into the habit of. He doesn't always do it. But actually this morning, Elliot wasn't in the mood to do it. So he actually offered to make his brother's bed as well. I mean, it needs some work. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but he's putting in the effort, bless him. And that's all we can ask for. Then I make our bed as well. I feel like if I just get this done as my first job in the morning, it makes me much more productive. If I leave the bed unmade, then I don't get much done. Uh, whilst I was doing, doing this, Ricky got the boys dressed and then I quickly did my skincare and makeup for the morning. This literally takes me 10 to 15 minutes at the moment um, to be fully made up and dressed as well so I'm only doing a quick bit of makeup um, and then getting myself dressed for the day as you'll see in a moment it's not very far away from pajamas um, I've got this lounge wear jumpsuit on from Topshop then we went downstairs for breakfast, Ricky was just making the boys some Cheerios and also some toast, although someone wasn't very happy. Leon! Yes, let's try and go! See, I'm doing triangles, that's what you asked for! No, Dad! You asked for pickle? Two year olds are very demanding, so he got his triangle toast, hopefully he was happy with that in the end. Um, and yeah, the boys sat on their little table as they like to do sometimes and eat their breakfast together. After breakfast we go back upstairs to brush the boys teeth and we use the Aquafresh Milk Teeth and Little Teeth Toothpaste and they are what we have always used on the boys teeth so I'm really really happy to recommend them. I didn't know about the Aquafresh Brush Time app though which is a really great way to keep your children engaged whilst brushing their teeth because as we all know the recommended amount of time for them to brush their teeth is two minutes in the morning and two minutes in the evening and this can actually seem like a really long time so the app's really fun they can dance along to the little character and there's also a timer that counts them down so they know how long they need to brush for so I would 100% recommend the app it's completely free to download I'll leave a link in the description box below if you want to go and find out more but yeah it's brilliant it's definitely lengthened the time that my boys will brush their teeth for and that is a mum win we're playing a game who can touch their tummy who can touch their shoulders who can touch their toes who can touch their ears who can sit on the bench? Good boys. Wait so yeah, it's about 9.30 now and we're trying to get out for a walk as early as possible. Um, just for 15 minutes, half an hour. Um, because it's when the boys are in the best mood really. <laughs> So obviously we are only leaving the house to do a little bit of exercise as we're currently allowed, although when this video goes live things may have changed by then, um, but currently as it stands filming this video we were allowed to go for a walk and we are so lucky to live right by this beautiful field. It's something that I just really take for granted because this is actually our school run as well um, and it's not the nicest through the winter to be fair, but now it's looking absolutely beautiful and I will never take walking through this field for granted ever again. Just feel like getting out a little bit every day is so good for our mental health. 
and then after that we came back and the boys do some work so Elliot is doing some um, shape matching so he loves doing this he kind of like closes his eyes Ricky traces around some shapes and then he has to match the shapes up and yeah he absolutely loves this and he's only two so he's kind of just doing crafts and art and nursery activities um, but he just loves it when he gets things right he's at that kind of age so this was perfect for him Yay! And whilst he was doing that, Archie and I did some worksheets. He loves maths at the moment, which I'm really trying to encourage. I think that's so good. He's not so keen on English, which I find difficult because I'm the opposite, the other way around. Um, but if he's interested in learning, I'm just going to encourage what he wants to do at the moment. And then I had both of the boys trying to do numbots on the website, um, on the computer. So it's quite difficult when you're trying to teach two children of two completely different ages. So now the boys have finished doing a bit of work for the morning. They've just done like literally an hour. Um, Archie's done some maths work and some stuff on the computer. Elliot's done some just little nursery games and activities. Um, this is when I try and now go upstairs and do like a block of work till about 12 o'clock, so about an hour and a half until we have lunch. Um, so I'm going to go upstairs, I try and film or edit or answer emails, whatever I need to do really. And the boys all play together, they do puzzles or games or they go out in the garden if it's a nice day. So we're still trying to find that work home life balance. It's really hard when both the boys are at home all day but I know so many people are going through the exact same thing right now so when I can I'll just go up to my office I've cleared this room out because I find it really important to just have a quiet space like I said to do some emails or just to catch up on things and sometimes film and edit as well I also didn't realize until I filmed this how weirdly I type so it's about 12 o'clock now and we're just making the boys some lunch and then once they're settled with their lunch we'll make something for us um, so they're having like a snacky picnic lunch, which is their favourite. They have the same apart from Archie likes pepperoni. So he has a pepperoni, some chicken, half a cheese string, a yoghurt, some cut up apple. They don't like the skin, so we always take it off for them. Some grapes, and we're still cutting them in half. I think we will for the rest of his life. <laughs> and a peanut butter sandwich. And then Ellis is basically the same, just without the pepperoni. So just a quick and easy lunch for me today. I'm having chicken and salad cream sandwich, prawn cocktail crisp, banana and some water. And for lunch, I've made myself a carrot and coriander soup and some bagels with butter. Now Kate has come downstairs, I am off upstairs to go and put this washing away, get some more washing, because since the boys have been off school, well, the washing pile has tripled. So, I'm gonna put another load of washing on in a bit. So between this clip and the next clip, there was actually a few hours went past whilst Ricky and I were getting old jobs done, and that led us on to so it's nearly four o'clock now and this is the kind of time it's just it's anyone else kind of worst time of the day the kids get all grumpy and you're just looking forward to bedtime kind tired. of <laughs> tired, tired real tired um but we usually use this sort of time about an hour and a half so four o'clock till 5 30 that's what we have on our list um to do a quick clean up and make the dinner so that we're sitting down to have dinner at 5 30. Um, and whilst we do this, the boys probably just play on their iPads and watch the TV and just chill out, basically. So, again, as I'm sure so many of us are experiencing, the house is in such a mess every single day because the kids are at home all day. Um, so, we try and use this time, like I said, to just go around the house and mainly do, like, the kitchen and the living dining room, you know, the high traffic areas, and just get them a little bit more clean and tidy before we sit down for dinner and do the bedtime routine, just so that when we come back downstairs after the boys have gone to bed, it's not a complete mess and we don't have to do it all then. So, Ricky was clean in the kitchen whilst I went and did the living dining room and the boys just relaxed and you know led the life of luxury <laughs> Thank you. 
So I'm just about to make dinner, it's almost five o'clock. I think we're gonna speed things up a little bit today because the boys are really tired and they're really hungry. Um, tonight we've got pizza because I'm due to be going shopping tomorrow. Uh, so we're just getting through the frozen meals towards the end of the week. So we've just had dinner, we had pizza, which I think Rick said, you know, not the most healthy of meals, but it was nice to have a treat. We have, we try and have like a fake away every week. Um, so tonight was pizza because it's the boys' favourite. So it's just gone six o'clock, we're gonna go upstairs for bath, books and bed. Mama, who are you? Pterodactyl eye. Your pterodactyl eye? Yeah. There it is. <laughs> are you a pterodactyl? Yeah. Are you a terror? No. No, are you sure? No. <laughs> Once they were dressed and all cosy in their pyjamas, we went back into the bathroom to brush their teeth and use the app. The boys are out of the bath, they've just had, um, they've just got their pyjamas on, they've brushed their teeth, and Daddy's going to read a book to Elliot, and me and Archie are going to go and read in his room. And this is my what 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 is my owl? His 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 ears is too short. So it's half past 10 now, I completely forgot that I hadn't filmed once I'd gone to bed because I've just come downstairs and started editing this video that you're watching right now and do you even play on your game? I fell asleep earlier at first time. You did. <laughs> but they did go to sleep quite quickly didn't they? So yeah. they went to sleep by about half past 7 and then yeah I've pretty much been sitting here ever since editing and it's half past 10 so this is pretty much the end of our day, I'm going to finish this off um, and we're going to go to bed. Yep, go to bed. So that's kind tomorrow. of like a day in our life. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was interesting to watch. I really don't know at the moment. Um, but if you enjoyed it, we would really, really appreciate a thumbs up um, and subscribe if you haven't already and leave us a comment below. We'd love to know how you guys are getting on and we'll see you again very soon. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>